Hey, what up y'all? Mr. Cruz here, the hardest worker in the room, back with another video. And in today's video, I'm gonna show you about this secret setting that I had recently found out about in BandLab. Let's go. Before we get started on the video, I do wanna shout out BeatStars. BeatStars is the number one platform for producers like you and producers like me to be able to sell our beats worldwide. I've been a member of BeatStars for almost four years now, a little over three years, uh, and honestly, it's been one of the greatest experiences uh, and life-changing experiences that I've ever had. Personally, when I was making beats, I truly felt discouraged and really never thought that like anybody would be interested in my beats, let alone strangers, but um, working hard, networking, and then, you know, touching up and making sure that my branding was looking good. That combined with BeatStars really made it simple. And before I knew it, I was selling my beats to people overseas, um, people who I had no idea who they were. A lot of people are people that I ended up following me on Instagram, even some people from YouTube. That's not just exclusive to me, but you too can open up your own beat store and start selling your beats today. Hit the link in the description and make sure you use my code CRU230 and I'm gonna hook you up with your first month of BeatStars completely for free. Let's get to the video. So I was messing around in BandLab recently and, and I found something that I was like really intrigued about because in the settings that we have in BandLab, um, a lot of the settings have changed. So I wanted to show you guys something that I had recently noticed. Now, maybe it's been there for a while, but I only recently caught on to it. So in setting, you have this thing right here, MIDI overdub. Uh, if you don't know what MIDI overdub, I'm gonna show you what it is. I'm gonna make sure that I have MIDI quantize as well. But what MIDI overdub is, is you can record on a region, right? So you can record your performance, your tracks or whatever. And then if you hit record again with that same region, like with the playhead going over the same region, it's gonna add whatever notes um, you play on top of the notes that you already have there. I'm kind of covering up my mouth there, but um, but you kind of get the idea is that it allows you to record something and then let's say uh, you missed the note or um, you wanted to play something else on top of it. Well, like now you can press record and record over those same things. So let's go ahead and try this out. You know your boy Mr. Cruz is not a piano player, right? I usually chicken peck my stuff, um, but let's go ahead and mess around with this. And we're gonna just test this out here. Ooh, that was a bad note right there. All right, so if we zoom in, we can kind of tell that everything was recorded. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually hit a octave lower. When you see me play it, you'll notice that now the notes that I'm playing are being played on top of that. So check this out. So that's a really awesome thing. If you're a much better piano player than me, um, or even if you're recording like your drums and then you realize like, okay, I wanna record just my snare first, and then I wanna record my kick, then I wanna record my hi-hats and all that stuff. Um, that's a really awesome, really easy, simple way for you to be able to add layers to whatever MIDI that you're recording. Well, that's what I got for you guys. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. It's your boy, Mr. Cruz, out.